Hi, everybody. It's Dr. Lori. This is Ask Dr. Lori Live. Thanks for being with me. Everything's unscripted. I say it all the time. I don't know what's coming. Appraisals and tips on what to look for. That's what's up next. So my guests are here. Let's get started. Show me those objects. Hold them up to the camera. Let's see what you got. Let's see what you got. Hold them up. Hold them up to the camera. If you're not in front of your camera, you're uh, here available, I'm going to go to somebody else. And I need your cameras to be horizontal, please. Horizontal. Let's start with the pin. Let's start with the fat with the pin. That's a Lori. Hi, how are you? Hi, I'm Laura from New Jersey. How are you? Hi, Laura. How are you? I'm good. I did a Thanks. video chat with you once. You did a video chat with me? How did it go? Was it fun? It was awesome. It was awesome. <laughs> it's was like nice. They're fun. You know, you can get a lot of information out and then ask questions directly. People like them. Anyway, I like them too. I love it. How'd you acquire this? Actually, this is from my mother. Oh, nice. And it was passed down from my grandmother. Really um, nice. Okay. Yeah, and, and I grew up in Manhattan, so um, all of us pretty much love jewelry. I'm a lover of jewelry. But my grandmother and my mother especially loved pins, and I grew to love my pins as well. I think pins, so, are, pins are so popular still. I wear Can you hold it up? Day. I'm sorry, Laura. Can you hold it up a little closer? Yeah, that's good. Back up just a tad. There it is. Perfect. Nice. So a couple things about this. I'm going to do a little teaching if you'll indulge me. Indulge yeah. me. First of all, notice the prongs, okay? They are prong set. This is what to yeah. look for. They're prong set. That's first. Second of all, notice when you have a contrasting colors. I don't care if it's purple and yellow or red and green or black yes. and white or colorless and black. I don't care, but I want to see that contrast. So notice it's a design within a design. When you see yes. a design within a design, starburst and then like a flower inside, the colorless lawns look like a flower and then the rest looks like a starburst. Mm -hmm. That's the 1960s. That's what I thought. Okay. 1960s, great. right? For your family history about the 1960s? Yep. So is it marked on the back? Show us the back. No, I've looked everywhere. And that's why I was wondering, because I know it's a beautiful set. From what you taught us, this is the set, the back we want to see. It's strong. That's the back you want to see. Laura, you got it's it. Heavy. You got it, girl. Yeah. That's so what you want to see. Hold it up closer for everybody. This is what you want to see. You want to see complete and full elements, right, on, on these pieces. And you want to see that they are actually together. Now, some of them are very nice if they have light coming through, right? If they're open, they're yeah. nice too. But this is the 1960s. So these pieces are made in New York. And they can be made by many of the different designers, right? Uh, I would say value on it. Let's see. Thank you. A value on it, I would say in the... $75 to $85 range. Wow. I don't think you're going to get $100 in today's market for it, but I do like the black and white. That's based yeah. on actual sales records without a maker. Okay. That's fantastic. If it were marked, if I have Trafari, had a Carnegie, if I've got Weiss, Eisenberg, Coral, whomever, I'm going to up it a little bit, probably in the 100, 110 range. Yeah, they Pins left me 100 big. pieces. Go ahead. They left me 100 pieces. They left and me I wear all pieces. of them. 100 pieces. Oh, I love to hear that. That's wonderful. Yes, wear, them, them. wear them all in good health. Enjoy them. Wear I them. Do. Every... I wear them daily. Put I them on. Wear them. them. Wear yes, it all. Yeah, I, I don't care what kind of vintage or antique jewelry you got. Put it on. Don't let it sit in the jewelry box. Hey, my question of the day, Laura. Mm -hmm. uh, Cheers or Seinfeld? Seinfeld. <laughs> okay. You got to I think love about Seinfeld. It. Nice to see you. Enjoy the jewelry. You Great. too. Thank you so much. My pleasure, honey. My pleasure. Good to, see you. Good to see you. So remember, when I want to teach you what to look for. So that's one of the things that you want to look for. You also want to think about how the markets, of course, change. I've got guests galore, so I'm going to uh, see what's happening. They're going to show me their objects, and I'm going to see which one I want to pick. Right? Hi, it's Dr. Lori. Hold it up. Let's see what you got. Oh, my. Let's start with this bird. <laughs> oh, there's two birds. It's only one bird. Oh, you know what? You know what? I'm already oh, you know seeing what? that your, your connection's not that good for the bird. And this connection's not good either, actually. So we're going to have to try those again. I want everybody to have a good viewing experience. Hi, what's your name? Lori. Hi, Lori. What have you got there? Um, I have one of a pair of, uh, I don't know what they are. <laughs> I think this is candle holders. I think it's Czech Bohemian, but I'm not sure. I bought why do you it today. Think, why do you think so? You know, I do a lot of work with glass and I talk a lot about glass, of course. You can learn a lot from the channel, as you all know, but a lot of work with glass. So these are sometimes called lusters or luminaires. 
All right. Now, right. luminaires are a little bit different from lusters, and you have all of the actually arrow shaped prisms too. You've got all the crystals that go around. So there's none missing, correct? They're they're all here. I got okay. I have a I have a pair of them too. Okay. And how did you acquire them? Um, I bought, there is a, I'm in Florida and there is a community sale today. And um, I ended up dodging the community sales, went to a one off the, the rail and showed up at the end of the day. Mm -hmm. And she had these uh, on the table and she said, nobody was coming. So I said, that's part of my plan to avoid those and hit some places where nobody's going. So, okay. So I, did they negotiate? Bit, no, you go ahead. I said I paid a little bit up for them from what I normally do, um, okay. but, you know, um, I paid 40 for the pair. She had them at 60, so I negotiated down. All right. That was my question. If there's nobody in her sale, you got to negotiate down, right? Okay. So, yeah. and um, so how did, so basically get this closer to the camera for me, if you would. I want to see the top of it, not just the crystals. Yeah. Bohemian. Yeah. Okay. Here's, here's what we've got. So this is a piece of bohemian glass. And when you look at this glass, don't do that. Show me the top. Okay. Show me the oh, top. Just the top? Stop. Okay. Right there. Just stop. When you see these pieces, what I want you to look for is I want you to look for not very decorated, not very specific particular areas of the top. So it isn't all individual sawtooth or it isn't all gilded all the way around. It's kind of like, well, we gave you a little bit of design and then we're moving on. <laughs> That's usually right. lower quality. All right. So, yes, I think this is a Bohemia, Bohemian piece, uh, typically made in Germany. Nice piece. Um, no chips, no cracks, no problems. Not that I've seen. Hey, may I see the bottom? The color is just off. It's not quite great pink. It's not quite cranberry. It's just off. Now, the gilding around the bottom is nice, and I think that the crystals are very nice. But I think the crystals are an add-on. I don't think they gave you those nice crystals when it was first made. I think those were added on at some point. You have two I of did them. Ask, Go ahead. I did ask for the history of them. Her parents, um, she was older, and she remember, She doesn't remember her. She, she was probably in her 70s, and her parents were in the military, and they bought... Um, these in England. So, okay. so that makes sense. So the pieces are Bohemian and I think that the crystals are probably from some other place or so maybe England. But again, value on the pair, about $250 for the pair in that condition. Good ones. I appraised a beautiful cobalt pair that were gorgeous and they were in the yeah. upwards of $750 to $900. But cool. I want to teach you what to look for while you got me. You might as well use this, right? Nice to see you. Exactly. Cheers Thank or you Seinfeld. So oh, honey, you're Seinfeld. welcome. Seinfeld, Seinfeld. And those of you with the comments, let's see. I want to know. Cheers or Seinfeld, you know. Um, are you going to go off to the bar or are you going to be in the diner? <laughs> Which is it? I'm Dr. Lori, the PhD Antiques Appraiser. This is Ask Dr. Lori Live. Thanks for being with me. Don't forget the binge link. My binge link is going to help all of you. So don't forget about the binge link. Hold up those objects. Let's see what you got. Hi, everybody. Hold up those objects. Oh, you've got a you've got the piece of furniture. Okay, I can't see the object there. So let's take the piece of furniture. Hi, Hi it's, me. it's me, Marco from Italy. Hi, Marco, how are things in Verona? Yeah, I'm fine, thank you. Good, darling. Nice to how see you. How are you? I'm very well. And how are you? Is it is it very late there? Yeah, it's now it's one o'clock in the morning. Yeah. Thank you. For <laughs> I'm waiting you. your show. I'm a big fan. Thank you for joining me. It's nice to see you. Let's yeah. see that mid-century yes. modern love seat you're sitting on. Yes. I have this uh, couch. It's a little two seat for two mm -hmm. person. Mm -hmm. They gave it to me. Because everyone loves you, Marco. Yeah. <laughs> but I don't know what age is it. They told me in the 40s or 50s. Yeah. Let's, you? Okay. Can you show us the side? Can you show us the side where the arms yeah. are? And I'll show you why it's the 40s. Like and back up a little bit for me. Is that too hard for you? There it is. A couple of things to look for. First of all, lighter colored woods after World War II. Lighter colored woods after World War II. Everything's dark till World War II, right? And then the light colored woods start, right? Yeah. We move from that mahogany and the walnut and the rosewood of the early 20th century into the lighter colored woods, birch and beech. And they're stain it with a champagne color or an oak or a wheat color. Made very famous by uh, manufacturers like Haywood Wakefield. This piece has a beautiful, you see the curve? 
Yeah. The curve, not only the curve of the arm, but the double curves that are basically showing you the decoration, that's 1940, that's 1945 to like 1949. So late 19, late 1940s. Very nice. That yeah. curve gets very, very straight once we get yeah. to the 50s. Okay. I see. So that helps. That helps. So oh. um, did you have to reupholster it? Yeah, I think so. I mean, it is a bit soft. I don't know if to touch it and make everything new and keep just the wood. Well, value on it the way it is, yeah. $550. How much? $550 okay. US. If yeah. you decide to reupholster it, you're going to have to add on that value, right? So it's yeah. going to cost you $200 or $300 to reupholster it. And it yeah. looks like a pretty easy reupholstery job. It's not tufted. It's yeah, not, right, you know, right. you can hide it all. So that wouldn't be too and bad. Do you think, should I change the springs inside? That will depend on the reupholstery person. They'll okay. tell you whether or not those strings are shot. That's the term in America. Are they shot? Are they going to, are they going to be okay? Oftentimes those springs are pretty heavy and they usually are hooked on. It's like screwed in with a screw and then they're hooked on to the spring. Um, I would say I would have them take a look now. It, it supports you fine. Have you had two people on it? Yeah, yeah, it's okay. It's, it's very soft. I mean, yeah, but it's okay. Yeah, it was very dirty, you know. Very. <laughs> How did you clean it? So I used a bit of uh, water and a bit of vinegar, just there a bit. There you go. There you go. Great. And Good then like you. a spray, like this. Yeah, I bought it's a, a spray. it's a beautiful it's a beautiful example. The yeah. curves are showing you, of course, post-war, wow. right? Post-war pieces. I like it a lot. I think it's quite beautiful in many ways. The yeah. color, in fact, the color probably indicates uh, a little bit later um, than we might like, and the cat likes it too. Right. Cat, yeah. I don't know if you'll be, how familiar are you with American TV, Cheers or Seinfeld? Oh, I'm not so familiar. <laughs> okay, okay. All right. Well, then you take care of yourself. Blessings from here. Bye. Thank you. Bye. Bye-bye. 550 as a gift is beautiful. I want you to think about those types of things when you're looking at furniture. I want you to think about the color of the wood, the color of the stain, what types of woods are used and are popular in different time periods. The 18th century loved, the 1700s loved mahogany. The, ninth, the 1800s loved cherry. The early 20th century, you usually saw, of course, walnut and rosewood. And the, the latter part of the 20th century got into mixed media, you know, chrome and other kinds of materials, metals, and of course, wood that is light in color. Don't forget the binge link. Why? I'm giving you all this information. If you binge the channel, guess what? You're going to get it from all of my videos and you won't miss any. How do you find the binge link? Very easy. The specials and shop page at drlaurieV.com. The binge link is right there. It's a big red button for you. And the link is right there. Just click on it. There's a lot on that page. So spend some time on the specials and shop page. And of course, you'll learn a lot of the things that I want you to know about. So great to be with all of you. My guest is here. Hi, how are you? Good. Good. What's your name? Sandy. Hi, Sandy. What have you got there? Um, I have Curly. You have Curly, a beanie baby. Curly has two tags. Two, uh, most of them have two tags. Oh, it's two tags on the tush, huh? Yep. Okay. Two different right. tags. How did you acquire them? Who's um, talking for you? Oh, my son. <laughs> okay, your son's talking for you. All right. Where is he? Put him in the camera. Okay, slide over. <laughs> What's Hi, your name? You I'm Joe. <laughs> Hi, Joe. Where are you guys calling from? Portage, Michigan. Oh, Michigan. So, Joe, why did you get your mom involved here? Um, because she she's collected a whole lot of stuff over the years, you know. And um, going through some of the Beanie Babies that she hadn't really touched, uh, she opened this one up from the bag, and it has a very particular stitch error. A uh, stitch he's a boy. error. Ooh, 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 a stitch error. Oh, my goodness, a stitch error. Let me tell, you, about, let me tell you a little bit about errors, okay? <laughs> okay. A lot oh, okay, of people okay. are talking a lot about errors. So the stitch error, of course, is going to have some impact on value, but, again, we're seeing all different types of errors coming into the marketplace, tag errors, multiple tags, stitch errors. The eyes are some ones tall, ones higher or lower than the other, the whole thing. So yeah. how, when did you acquire it? Oh, many years ago. <laughs> the 1990s? Is it from 1993? What's the tag say? Um, it is 
That one's 93 and the tush is 96. 93 and 90, the tush is 93 and this is 96. Other way Value around. on your BD baby in that example is ten dollars thanks guys nice to it see has, you it has a look in the middle in the middle oh we lost them a couple of reasons also for the beanie babies you have to look at for something called pellet deterioration if you noticed in the stomach the pellets actually have deteriorated on that piece so a couple of things that i want you to look for if you're looking through your beanie babies or your mother's beanie babies or your son's beanie babies basically what i want you to look for is something called pellet deterioration which is of course a condition issue where the pellets start to deteriorate there are different types of pellets within beanie babies now Different stitches, different eye position, um, you know, different tag dates, all impact value. So that one, of course, you got an impact value, unfortunately, a little bit low in that case. But again, some of them, many of them are quite valuable. And I evaluate many, many of them every week. Hi, hold up those objects. Let's see what you got. <laughs> Hi, it's Dr. Lori. Will you hold up your object so I can see? Hi, hold up those okay. Objects. Let's see what this um, ceramic piece is, this yellow one. Hi, it's Dr. Lurie, how are you? Hey. Okay, I got something hey, in my Dr. eye, Lurie. might be mascara. <laughs> you know what, it's difficult to be, to wear makeup. Makeup is like difficult. <laughs> mascara in my eye, what's your name? It's Cindy. What's your name on? Cindy? Cindy, uh-huh. Okay. Cindy, can you back the piece up so I can see the whole piece? I'm looking at you. I'm not looking at the piece. You're beautiful, but I need to see the piece. <laughs> can you back it up, back up, back up toward you? There you go. All right. So, so can I see it from the side? Right. Is there a mark on the bottom? Not on the bottom, but there is okay. a mark or like a signature here. Can you put that up to your camera? Where are you calling from? North Carolina. All right. All right. Okay, great. All right, we got it. So this particular piece is Italian. This piece dates to about the 1970s. It's, it's a figural piece. And where did you get it? Goodwill. Goodwill. What'd you pay? $7. $7 is pretty good. I'd like it at five better, right? <laughs> Value on it, $35. It's a nice piece, oh, wow. 70s ceramic made in Italy. It's import, it's basically for export into the United States and around the world. It's a nice piece. Seinfeld or cheers? Question Seinfeld. of the day. Seinfeld. We all like Jerry, don't we? <laughs> and if you watch, of course, thank you very much. And if you binge link, if you binge watch my videos, I talked about a couple of Seinfeld collectibles recently. So check that out too. Don't forget to share the channel. If you don't share the channel and subscribe to the newsletter, you can subscribe to the newsletter. It's very easy right on the website at drlaurieV.com, right? Um, and then basically all you have to do is put in your email. When we send out the newsletter, you will get it in your email box. So great stuff, nice things. And it's great to get it. $7 to make more is wonderful. I like it a lot. I also like the color of that piece. Here's my next guest. You. Hi, it's Dr. Lori. I've got all kinds of, it's all kinds of fuzzy. You can't really see it. <laughs> can't really see this one. Sorry. Got to be able to see it clearly. Check out your, um, make sure that you're on a Wi-Fi network. That will be better than your cell phones typically. Cell phone network, not that your cell phones are bad. Hi, Dr. Lori here. I am giving you the keys to, hi, honey. How are you? I'm well, thank you. And you? Good. What's your name? My name's Diana. Hi, Diana. Where are you calling from? I'm calling from New Mexico. Nice to see you. You know, I'm giving you the keys to the castle. You know that expression, the keys of the castle? I'm showing yes. you what to look for. All you have to do is watch this channel, see what to look for, go out and get it. Pass by all the other junk, go out and get it, and then you can flip it online if you're a reseller. There's a person who's told me she was watching last week's Ask Dr. Lori Live. She said, you told me about what to look for. I went to an online auction. I found it. I bought it. I flipped it. I made money. Keys to the castle, people. Tell me what you've got. I have, I believe, a set of horn carved horns. Okay. What kind of horns do you think they are? Uh, I'm not really sure. Okay. So they're two-tone. You notice the different colors. The whole thing is horn, right? And yes. is there any kind of other element that would tell you a little bit about this? Um, not that I know of. 
Um, okay. Yeah. All right. So nothing underneath. No, ma'am. Yeah, okay. Show me that. Show me that. That underneath. That's manufactured. All right. Okay. So that piece is actually done in a factory that's producing these pieces as opposed to two pieces that are hand done by an artisan or that's the difference between the terms studio art, right? And manufactured art or art in general. So that's what you're looking at. How much did you pay? And where'd you get them? I paid $10 at an estate sale for what both of you, them. What made you buy them? At first I thought um, it was full of dust and I thought it was a, uh, a uh, ceramic. I love dirt. I got to say, I love dirt because dirt is going to hide beautiful things. And if you're a clean person, I'm a clean person. If you're a clean person, you clean it up and you've got something beautiful. Okay. So you thought it was ceramic and then you cleaned it and you, and you found out that it was actually, um, horn. Can you come closer for me? Yeah, certainly. As as you can Just keep coming, keep coming. Okay. So right. Can you hold it there, Diana? Are you comfortable? Yes. Okay, a couple of things. First of all, see the difference in the in the coloration. So basically what they've done, they've helped it out a little bit, okay? So they've they've actually enhanced or highlighted some of the areas of the of the um horn, right? So mm -hmm. it's a little bit darker so you can see sort of um textural or tonality so it really looks like a real bird. I would say value on it, are they 8 inches, 10 inches tall? Um, the horns themselves are about eight inches and then another inch and a half on the base. Time period, 1970 to 1980. Value, $150 for the pair. So for your $10 investment, thumbs up. Very good. Based on Thank actual you. sales records. Now, remember, certain types of horn um, is going to be uh, more valuable than others. So this is sort of your run of the mill. But if you had... Um, for example, you have different types of horn that are really, really valuable. You want to think about that. These are manufactured, made basically in Asia for the American market. Thanks so much. Hey, Seinfeld or cheers? Cheers. Thanks so much. Question of the day. I like to know what you guys are thinking. The question of the day is fun. So I'm Dr. Lori, and don't forget about sharing the channel. My goal, I have goals too. My goal is to spread the knowledge, give you all the information that I possibly can. I can't do it if you don't share. So my goal is I want to do videos every single day for you. Informative videos that can help you make money, be successful, change your life maybe. Uh, so basically what I want to do is that, and I can't do that if you don't share the channel. I need you to share it on social media groups. I need you to share it when you're shopping. I need you to share it, of course, with your friends and family. I need you to share it wherever you are. Share it because I'm giving all kinds of information and I'll say it. Nobody else is. Oh, okay. Let's see what you got. Hold up those objects. Let's see what you got. Hi, let's see what you got. Okay. We've got a, what might be, well, it looks like a drawing or a print. I want to go with the set. I love sets. Can we go with the jewelry set? Hang tight. Oh, I'll get back to the rest of you. Hang on. All right. Hi, what's your name? Hi, Dr. Lori. I'm Amaya from Colorado Springs, Colorado. Hi, Amaya. Amaya, that's a beautiful name. Thank you. You're welcome. How did you acquire this? I bought this at an estate sale today. Today? Today. That was a good day, Amaya. <laughs> it's a good day. I'm really excited. Is it marked? It is marked. It's marked Kramer. Oh, it's marked Kramer. Wonderful. K-R-A-M-E-R, -R -E right? Yes. Good. Is it marked on the bracelet as well as on the other elements? I can't see what those Correct. are. Those are earrings, those right? Those are earrings. Good. And then you've got something else in your hand, too. That is actually just the necklace wrapped around my hand. My apologies. Okay, so you've got earrings and a necklace. Correct. Got it, got it, got it. Okay, all right. Um, can you hold the necklace or one of the stones, something up toward the, there it is. Thank you, darling. And then move it, just move it, move it back and forth. There you go. So they're prong set. You'll notice that this repeating pattern is very typical of the 1940s and 50s. You're seeing that nice mid-century modern. Notice also the... At the end of that necklace, there, of course, are those small pieces. That's pretty typical, of course, of mid-century as well. So those small, uh, they look like little squares. And then you have, of course, the air, the pieces that are not that. It's really quite nice. Um, now, your Kramer piece, the necklace with the earrings. And the earrings are clip-ons or are they screwbacks? They are clip-ons. They're clip-ons. Okay. So 1950s clip-ons, Kramer, I would say value for the set about $200. Very nice. What would you pay? 
I paid $42. $42. Well, you did well. The the estate sale folks are jacking up the prices on the costume jewelry, right? Did you negotiate them down from something? They were originally listed at 95. I went back on the final day at the very end and talked them down to 50%. Good job. There it is. 50%. That's what you have to do because the final day is the final day. So, you know, they've got to move it. They've got to move it. Good for you. Wonderful. Um, My question of the day is about television, Seinfeld or Cheers? It absolutely has to be Seinfeld. It has to be Seinfeld. Yeah. I remember Elaine dancing. Do you remember that one? (laughs) She has inspired me to do bad dancing my entire life. That is so funny. That is so funny. She's a wonderful comedian. I enjoy her very much in anything she does. Julia Louis Dreyfus. Thank you. Thank you. (laughs) Thank you so much. Yeah, a lot of fun. A lot of fun. Those are beautiful. But what's happening now, of course, and and what has been happening, what a lot of you are not aware of, is that you're seeing, of course, these values go up. Costume jewelry has been hot for a long time. I told you that before this all started. Thank you for the super chats and the super stickers. This helps support the channel. Sharing helps, watching helps, and of course, the super chats and super stickers do too. I've come across a lot of amber lately. Is amber very valuable? Should I be buying it? If you have real amber, there's amber that's really plastic and it looks like amber, but it's not amber, or there's real amber, and I show you in one of the videos how to tell, so watch that. And the other thing is, yes, it is actually pretty valuable. Um, Some of the pieces, even small pieces, Baltic amber, for example, that are all over the stores, if you're in St. Petersburg or if you're in, of course, uh, Scandinavia, Copenhagen or other parts of Scandinavia, you can see a lot of amber. And yes, it can be pretty valuable. People do like it. It's a beautiful color. All right. (laughs) That's a good one. I'll watch Seinfeld at the bar. Very good. Yeah, the T-shirts. Yes, the t-shirts and lots of specials on that specials and shopping page. So the t-shirts, the mugs, right? Actually, let's take a sip of water. The t-shirts, the mugs, all of the merchandise, which you all asked for. So you're going to support the channel that way too. And I appreciate that too. And don't forget, I've got special other things going on, like special classes and such that you can also find on the specials and shop page. Let's get to my guest. Hold them up. Let's see what you got. Let's see what you got. All right. Let's go with this picture of the lady. Let's go yes. with this Hi, what's your name, hon? Hi, I'm Kendall. How are you? I said, did you say Sandal? No, Kendall. Kendall, Kendall, yeah. like the Jenner girls. Okay. Yes, exactly. Got it. Well, you were probably first. You had that name first, didn't yes, you, Kendall? I did, 94. <laughs> <laughs> You're cute. Where are you calling from? I'm calling from Washington, D.C. Wonderful. What can you show me here? Okay, Thanks for so watching the channel. I uh, love your channel. Um, Thank you. I am. I have this ink on silk that I. Can got. you come back? Can you go back some? Well, okay. So now I want you to tilt it down the top. I want you to tilt down so we don't get too much reflection. There you go. All right. Okay. It's so it's you it's have an ink on silk. Yes. And it's signed. And she really looks like an Edwardian lady. She looks it, like that. I'm sorry. Not- it says 05 on it, so I'm assuming 05. it's 1905, and I looked That's at exactly the right. dresses of the era, and she's That's exactly on. right. That's exactly right. So the Edwardian period follows, of course, the Victorian period. Queen Victoria dies in 1901. The Edwardian period for, of course, King Edward comes after that. That piece, let's see that piece. We love to see your pretty face and your pretty hair, but I got to see the piece. <laughs> sorry, sorry. That's okay. Go back down a little bit. Okay. And it says C... Climbling or climbling. It, it looks like CP somebody. C climbling. C finling. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, yes, 1905. All right. A couple of things about this. First of all, that piece is going to be utilized for other pieces, right? So she's going to end up on a calendar, right? She might end up on a transferware plate. That same oh, image wow. is going to be done over and over and over again. Okay. Um, so Time period, we got uh, type where it comes from, America, and value. And how big is it? Is it 11 by 14? Um, it's like the, I should have, I literally just jumped on. I didn't even prepare. I'm so sorry. Um, right. like so you split. <laughs> oh, show me your arm. That works. All right. So it's, yeah, it's 12 by, it's eight, it's eight by 10. So it's eight by 10, eight by 12. Value on that piece is going to be just about $65. How'd you get it? <laughs> Um, Goodwill auction. I just thought um, she was really beautiful for twenty. I got her. 
You go ahead. Auction for twenty dollars. Just thought she was really beautiful. Not she is. I think she is really beautiful. Make sure that if since she's on silk, that there's spacers in between the glass, right? Or a mat, because what happens when you have a piece of material under glass? uh, Dirt and moisture can get in between, and it can start to damage it. Okay. Yeah, you don't have spacers. Get a get a mat or spacer. Spacers are those little plastic things that hide underneath the frame, and it just keeps the glass away and off the piece. Okay. Nice to meet Sounds you, Kendall. Good. Hey, before you go, Cheers or Seinfeld? Probably in syndication for you. Um, yeah, so I'm a 90s baby. I have more of a reference point for Seinfeld, so I'm going to go with Seinfeld. Okay. Thanks. Nice Dr. to see Lee. you. Nice to meet you. Thanks. <laughs> Calling from the America's nation capital, right? So that's wonderful. America's capital, Washington, D.C. What fun. What fun. Great to see all of you. I'm Dr. Lori. This is Ask Dr. Lori Live. I'll see you next time.